Hi guys, today I'm going to be telling you when and where to arrive on your first day of university. When you've enrolled for university, you will gain access to uni life and there you can access the induction timetable which will tell you which building you need to be in and on what time in your first week. So once you've found this out, I would suggest arranging travel. If you're walking, find out how far away the building is from where you live. You know, if it takes 10 minutes to walk, make sure you leave enough time and you, so that you're not late and that's the same with bus or train or car make sure you plan in advance and you know how long it's going to take to get there so that you can be early because it's not good being late on your first day when you actually go i would suggest going early this way you can check out the campus beforehand if you haven't seen it already and also it's a really good um, chance to meet people who are on your course before the actual you know welcome talk or whatever you will be receiving it's nice to just get to know people before you actually start and there's usually people waiting around so it's a good chance to chat to people don't be nervous it's the first day it's the first week there's lots going on um, but it is very exciting so just enjoy yourself if you are moving out, I would suggest obviously buying all of the essentials if you haven't already. Cleaning supplies, kitchen supplies, bedding, things like that, as well as all of your belongings. There are some things you need to have for halls or your accommodation. However, it can add up to be quite expensive. So I would suggest looking in like a supermarket or something like that. They often sell bundle packs. So everything is included in one to make it a lot cheaper for you. Obviously students are on a budget, so I would really suggest doing that. And then as for when you're actually studying in university, obviously you'll be taking notes in lectures. So you could do this two ways. You could do it electronically so you could take a laptop or an ipad and store all of your notes on like google drive or word or something like that and then also you can take your notes manually where you will need files you'll need notepads pens pencils things like that so it just depends um which way you want to do it and which way works best for you i will say electronically will save you space because obviously you're not going to have loads of files to put in your bedroom it's whatever works for you to many people freshers week is one of the most exciting parts of university and it's really really easy to see why there is lots of fun to be had loads of different events to be going to so i really suggest you make the most of it while you can you can do this by accessing the freshers timetable on uni life on the timetable there will be lots of different events and excursions that you can take part in these are a great way to meet new people and just to have fun really they're always a memorable experience so i suggest you take a few of them up also, I would suggest um, kind of starting societies during Freshers' Week. Societies are a great way to meet like-minded people and people who have the same interests as you, which is really important when you're making new friends and meeting new people. All in all, I would just say to try out new things during Freshers' Week. Make the most of it while you are in the thick of it. Just have fun, that's what it's all about. Just enjoy yourself and you'll make some fantastic memories.